We have just got through witnessing two of the best conference championship games in quite a while. Both games coming down to the wire. Of course, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Kansas City Chiefs game went into overtime, and everybody was th everybody was thinking the same thing. Oh, Kansas City won the coin toss, so they're going to the Super Bowl. I mean, did you hear the fans in the stands? As soon as they found out that the Kansas City Chiefs won the coin toss, they all erupted in this cheer like, we have won the game, we're going to the Super Bowl. And honestly, I, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, great. You know, there's, al there's already been talk about the overtime rules. And I actually had a video that's in the can that I have just not gotten to editing yet, unfortunately, um, talking about the overtime rules and, and whatnot. And so there was more talk about it yesterday. But things turned out differently, obviously. Uh, Mahomes got uh, picked off from a deflection. The, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals drove the ball downfield, kicked the game-winning field goal. Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. Kansas City staying home. And then you get to the San Francisco LA Rams game. And I kind of felt that that was going to be a, a tight game. If it was not going to be a tight game, it was going to be the Rams blowing out San Francisco. The reason why I think that is really because I felt like Matthew Stafford is the better quarterback than what uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is. You know, uh, Jimmy makes some plays, but he also makes some really bad decisions on the field. And I don't necessarily fault him for that last decision he made because either way, that last play of the, the game for San Francisco was pretty much going to be dead in the water. Well, if he had took the sack or... Or, you know, at least he attempted to make some sort of play. And, you know, that that's just how it goes. But I think everybody kind of figures that Garoppolo will not be in San, Fr San Francisco uh, next year. I agree. I don't hope he comes to Washington, though. He is not my favorite quarterback to go to the, the Washington whatevers. Uh, so I really hope that doesn't happen. And I really hope that Ron Rivera is not looking his way going, hmm, Jimmy G, he would look good in a Washington uniform. No, 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 no. Stay away. Stay far, far away. Which honestly brings me to the 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 most important point of today's video. And it's the, the fans. You know, we just got through enjoying watching these championship games especially the one with uh, Cincy versus uh, KC. And instead of enjoying the fact that we're seeing a different quarterback, two different quarterbacks going to the Super Bowl for the first time, but one who's doing it in his second year, and with a team that honestly was like, uh, they only won four games last year. I think they won two games the year before that. And now they're in the Super Bowl. Of course, Washington fans are mad. They're angry because they're looking at Ron Rivera <clears throat> and they're mentioning him in tweets going, see, L look at Cincinnati. It doesn't take five years to turn a, a team around. And, I mean, it's ridiculous. There were even, <laughs> there were even fans, if I can call them fans, that are blaming Washington for beating Miami two years ago in 2019 because they're like, we could have been in a position to have drafted Burrow, Joe Burrow. And I'm like, I mean, you know, if, if the world was flat and if I had a million dollars, I mean, come on, folks. It, it's all ridiculous. I, I've never seen so many... Uh, general manager experts on Twitter for the NFL my entire life. I mean, you know, people who are 
mad at our coach because our coach has said that for our team it's going to take three to five years to really get them into being contenders. And yet another team comes by and they're able to do it within two years and suddenly they are the blueprint of how to make it work. You know, back back in the late 80s when Jimmy Johnson took over uh, with the Cowboys and he turned that ball club around within like three or four years, that was the blueprint. Suddenly there's all these blueprints that people are like, you need to do it like that. You need to do it like that. And we're not we're not doing it right. You know, we're we're too worried about a new name and we should be focusing on a quarterback. And I can't believe that Ron Rivera didn't try to get us a good quarterback this past season or all season. And do you guys not remember the fact that Ron Rivera actually stated they tried to go out to get Matthew Stafford. They tried. I believe Washington offered a first round and a third round pick for Matthew Stafford. And the deal didn't go through. Matthew Stafford didn't want to come to Washington. The Rams wound up offering two first rounds plus their starting quarterback. And that was quite a bit. And the Lions were like, yeah, we'll take that. And that's how Stafford wound up going to the Rams instead of the football team. So there was attempt being made. And honestly, if we had offered the same thing, except obviously we didn't really have a starting quarterback to offer, but let's say we had offered, you know, Chase Young, you know, somebody that obviously would have had uh, extremely high market value, then you guys would have complained and just been upset to high heaven if the team had went like, well, you know, 7-10 and 10 with Matthew Stafford. Now, maybe they would have had a better record. Maybe they would have won two more games, you know. So maybe they would have been, what, 9-8? Uh, and eight? at the end of the season, but what if they had been 9-8 and eight at the end of the season and missed the playoffs? You guys would have been extremely upset. You would have been like, we mortgaged our future away for a quarterback who is in his 30s and doesn't have nearly as long. I mean, this is, this is the argument for Russell Wilson. Russell is in his 30s. You know, he only has, he should retire now. There, there was actually people saying he should retire now, that his best days are behind him. And then there are others who, who are saying he's only got two or three years left. You don't mortgage the future away for two or three years. Again, all these experts on Twitter telling us this. And honestly, I think folks are going to have to be patient, all right? We have to do it the best way that's for our franchise and for our team. You can't go coveting these other teams and seeing, you know, okay, Cincy, they went from being one of the worst teams in the league and now they're going to the Super Bowl. Good for them. I am proud of them. I, I am excited to see the Bengals in the Super Bowl. But it doesn't happen that way for everybody. That is not the blueprint. It, it happened to fall in their laps that... They were able to draft Joe Burrow, you know, first overall. Washington wasn't in that position. They were second. And I think they certainly picked the, the best player in, in that second spot. So basically overall, my, my idea is that I'm just, uh, you know, I just can't get over how many fans are so upset that – now they're looking at how Cincy has been able to turn things around so quickly, and, and now they're looking at Washington like, you can't do this. Why can't you do this? It's, it's pathetic. It really is. You know, Cincy probably had... Well, I'll say this. Do they have a better coach right now? They may have, like, a, a future Hall of Fame coach. I mean, their coach has done an excellent job. They may have a future Hall of Fame quarterback. 
that's going to be playing for them for, you know, the next 10, 15 years. I mean, honestly, <laughs> since he just hit a home run, and now we're looking at Ron Rivera, and people are like, well, Ron Rivera had better hit nothing but home runs or I want him gone. And so, again, we're getting right back on this merry-go-round that we have been on for the last 20-plus years. You know, coaches coach for two or three seasons, get fired, put in another new regime. They coach for two or three seasons, they get fired. The same merry-go-round, the team gets dramatically dumped and changed, and this is what happens every single like three or four years every quarter of a of a well <laughs> i started to say every quarter of a century <laughs> maybe not not like that but you know you get what i'm saying it's like it's the same thing uh rinse and repeat rinse and repeat let's keep doing it until we get the right coach in and the right staff and the right quarterback and we've been doing this for half my life now Maybe that doesn't work for Washington. Maybe we're going to have to be a little bit more patient with Ron Rivera. Maybe we are going to have to give him five years. You know, Maybe it is going to take us longer to find the franchise quarterback. You think they grow on trees? They don't. I mean, it is very tough to get a franchise quarterback. I mean, you look at the league. How many teams can you look at in the league right now and say they have a franchise quarterback it's not all 32 teams right no it's not even probably 25 teams that you could say they have a franchise quarterback honestly franchise quarterbacks are few and far between and since he looked up got theirs washington's still looking for theirs we need to be patient folks i ha i know you hate to hear that and people are going to be like, I better not hear you need to be patient one more time because you're not a fan if, if, if you don't want a quarterback now. I mean, yeah, of course I want a quarterback now. Of course I want to win the Super Bowl now. But I want it built right, and I want no stone unturned, right? We've got to have this team and this culture, this franchise, completely turned over and I think for the most part I think the the organization has made a really good or have made really good efforts into changing the culture it, it was a culture not just on the field but you know behind closed doors in the executive suites and yes we still have Dan Snyder that culture I don't know if that's ever going to change but you know, if he's if he has any sort of sense about himself and he is truly letting the football guys handle the organization, then let him or allow him to let the others keep doing their jobs. It may be a slower process for us, but if it turns out to be the best, then why not let them do what they need to do Stop coveting Cincy, pull for them in the Super Bowl like I probably will, and get ready for Wednesday. <laughs>